Hi, CodeMonkey here. You know, sometimes we need to make for our games some complex UI components. And if you've been following my videos, then you know that I use a grid system to be able to scale the games. Well, I've taken this a bit further and made it possible how we can make UI components on a grid system that are totally scalable to the game that we're making. Let me show you how to do it. Let's get started. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. So this is going to be a fairly advanced video on some phaser advanced UI components. I'm not going to explain how a lot of the internal code of the Ultimate Games Part template works. Not on this video. In any case, I'm just going to show you how to quickly put together some advanced UI. And the request came from somebody, I believe, making educational games, and they needed to have a word box. They wanted it all as one unit. And if you've watched my videos for any amount of time, you know I like to do things on grid. This is a line grid that we can place game objects on. But I've gone ahead and extended this into something where we can make nice UI components. So for example, I'm going to make a word box and I'm going to put it right at the top of our code folder just so we can find it easily. Word box JS. And if you have been using the Ultimate Games Part template, you know that I use a base scene which has a lot of wonderful common functions in it. But I've also made a base UI component. So I'll go ahead and make that class word box, export class, word box, extends, base UI, and I'm going to import that. Import base UI from common UI, base UI. We'll make the constructor, and we're going to pass a config object into that so we can get the scene and the key needed to make images inside the word box. And we need to call the super as well, the constructor inside base UI. So we'll pass in the config to the super. And then we set the back. And this is a function that's inside the base UI. And you can certainly look that up. It is at common UI base UI. And there's some wonderful features inside there. Saves me a lot of time. This set back and config back key. And over here in scene main, let me import that word box. Let word box equal new word box. And we need to pass in the scene, this. And we'll pass in that back key. And the back key is just going to be something I use over here called panel back. It's in the template already, and we're already loading it. And then let's place that on our align grid here, this place at index, 60 being the middle of the screen, and word box. So let's have a look. And there we have that white box taking up most of the screen. I didn't scale it. That's the reason. This setback 0.5. Let's make it 20%, 0.2, 20 20% of the screen's width. There we go. So there's our word box. Now we can also set an align grid inside that box. This set align grid. And we'll just make it a 5x5 five five grid. Now, normally, when we make it a line grid, we can say something like this, a grid, which is the copy of the line grid inside WordBox, show numbers, the same way that we did over here in scene main. The problem is that it places it where the button was before we placed it out here. Well, it's very easy to fix, but we need to do it over here in scene main, and we need to do it after the word box has been placed. We say word box fix grid, and then word box a grid show numbers. I'll take this line of code out over here in word box. We don't need that anymore. So let's have a look. There. Now we have a five by five grid inside this box. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the numbers here on the big grid. 
go into word box and then let's add some text this text one equals this place text config word and the position will be number 12 right in the center and the style just black and then over here in scene main we can pass a word as part of that object and there it is now if I want to put an image in there as well say that I want to put it right up here like right above it at number seven we can do that as well let's use icons and we're already loading icons over here in the template we'll use icon home we'll pass that in as an icon this icon equals this place image config icon and we'll place that at number seven one up and we'll put in a scale of 0 0.05 five percent of the game's width there it is and we can move that word down by adding five to it since we made a five by five grid I'll go ahead and turn those lines off. There. Now we've got a nice little box here with an icon and text in it. I'll go ahead and make one more. We'll place it a few down at 93. Word box 2. We'll change the text to home on that. And we'll change the icon to the gear which is already white so let's change that this back set tint and whatever the tint is that we pass in from the config so you can see this is very easy to adapt to tint 0x ff 0000 for red And there we go. So you can see how we can line things up and move them as different objects and get pretty advanced in that. And it will scale to fit whatever phone or device that you're on because it's all using percentages and grids to be able to design it based on the game's width. I know that it was rather fast to go through. I hope that made sense. If not, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to help you. I hope it's been helpful for you, though, and thank you very much for watching.